Yeah, that's pretty good D by Brooke Lopez. And look, if you do extend your arm and you put it out and he and he gets it, they've changed the rule now. It's not automatically a shooting foul. They can call it out on the side. But it looked like Brooke did a good job. He got that arm back. Like he's rightfully unhappy. Well, Mike Budenholzer didn't like the call either. To the point where he gets a technical. Marat Kogan blows the whistle on that. And I, and I like that technical because I do think, look, it's 20 to 19. Game is very close, but the defensive physicality and energy has favored Memphis so far. And I think Coach Bud is trying to make sure that they, the referees call a few fouls before it goes a little further. And I think that Memphis's energy sometimes, they won't call it as much because that's how Memphis is playing defense. Desmond Bain hits the technical free throw. Valanciunas. Now, after being fouled by Lopez. I do like the lineup that's out there right now, though. Bobby Portis in the game, P.J. Tucker. Two guys that are, they'll make a stand out there. Drew Holiday. Pat Connaughton. And Chris Middleton rounding out the Bucks five at the moment. Memphis leads by two. Under five minutes in the first. Chris Middleton, tough shot. Cleared by Valanciunas. Valanciunas had a 13-point, 12-rebound double-double in game one against the Bucks. He averages just under 13 rebounds a game. Grayson Allen drives the buck clear. Bobby Portis, and he goes right to Middleton. Yeah, we've seen a little bit of frustration out of Middleton so far into the basket. The defense right there by Well, I'll tell you, they are all over the place in the first quarter, making it very difficult for the Bucks. Morant rebounds. Long pass ahead. And now they work it to the big man, Valanciunas. The Bucks with a soft double there. Holiday down. He has to get back to the shooter, Bain, and cannot. And that's dangerous. And that's very strategic by Taylor Jenkins. Bain, a very good three-point shooter, is the nearest guy to Drew Holiday, who is doubling in the post on Valanciunas with Bobby Portis guarding him. He knew kick it out. Bain was ready to shoot it. Portis, a three from the corner. Memphis has scored the last ten points in the game to lead by five. Kyle Anderson from distance. And now Middleton. Every time a Bucks player gets the ball, it seems there is an aggressive primary defender and someone very nearby to him. Yeah, I, I think you're right. And depending on who it is, if it's Giannis, it seemed like it was a more aggressive double team. Other guys, you're right. There's someone kind of waiting, just making sure they see you there. John Morant. Is two for three on threes. That's not a good. That's not a good thing either. Like you said, he shot the ball much better as of late, but much more of a paint scorer, driver than a three-point shooter. Chris Middleton for three. That's his first and the one thousand and sixth of his career. He moved into the second spot on the road trip all time. 